Welcome back. We're going to start our women in sports this week in the pool where the Olympic competition has officially wrapped up. It was admittedly a slow start for the American swimmers, but Team USA finished with more gold swim medals than any other country. That is eight golds, and six of those were earned at least in part by a woman. And Tori Husk has emerged as one of Team USA's stars from Paris. She was the most decorated U.S. women swimmer at these games with a solo gold, two relay golds, and two silver medals. But if we're talking swimming, we have to talk about the greatest of all time, Katie Ledecky. She is now the first woman swimmer to win gold at four different games and the most decorated woman in U.S. Olympic history. And on Saturday, she won gold in the 800 meter swim exactly 12 years to the day from when she won her first gold medal in London at just 15 years old. And speaking of goats, let's turn to gymnastics. Team USA reclaimed the team gold and check out this individual all around finish. Gold medalist Simone Biles came back from what could have been career ending twisties in Tokyo. Silver medalist Brazil's Rebecca Andrade has three ACL tears to come back from and bronze medalist Suni Lee is in remission from kidney disease. And this is the second all around Olympic medal for all three of these ladies. And one more quick side note on Simone Biles. She has not lost an all-around competition since 2013, the same year she debuted. She is now the most decorated U.S. gymnast of all time. Well, last week I told you about Team USA's women's rugby team and their history-making last-second win for the bronze medal, the first medal this country has won in women's rugby. And now Michelle Kang, the owner of several professional women's soccer clubs, has donated $4 million to the team to prepare for the 2028 Olympic Games. But you guys, we have to talk about the U.S. women's soccer team. This squad is officially going to play for the gold medal. Team USA defeated Germany in the semifinal match, which just wrapped up about two hours ago. It was a scoreless 90 minutes until Sophia Smith found the back of the net during extra time. And now they will play in the final game on Saturday. Over in basketball, the American women are looking for their eighth straight gold medal. And on Sunday, Team USA remained undefeated with a 19 point win over Germany. Now they'll play in tomorrow's quarterfinals. And by the way, the US women's basketball opener against Japan averaged 3 million viewers. Besides the gold medal games, that is more viewers than all men's and women's Tokyo Olympic basketball matchups. But now, I wanted to take the time to introduce you to the Olympic trailblazers you might not have heard about. And that starts with Jasmine Moore. On Saturday, she became the first American woman to win an Olympic medal in the triple jump with her bronze finish. Over in shooting, Sage and Madalena brought home the silver in the 50 meter rifle three positions. That is the very first American medal in that event since 2012. And in Tahiti, Team USA took home the women's surfing gold. Caroline Marks won a nail-biter final yesterday. This is only the second Olympic Games to feature surfing, and the U.S. also took home the women's gold at the sports debut in Tokyo. Meanwhile, Evie Liebfarth became the first U.S. canoe slalom athlete to compete in all three Olympic events. That's kayak single, kayak cross, and canoe single. And her bronze slalom medal is the very first for an American woman in 20 years, which means it's the first since she was born. In fencing, superstars Lee Kiefer and Lauren Scruggs helped lead Team USA to its first ever fencing gold medal in the team foil. That's for men or women, dating all the way back to 1904. Long time coming. And finally tonight, the story of Kristen Faulkner. She grew up in Alaska before rowing at Harvard. Then after school, she worked for a venture capital firm in New York City before taking a beginner's cycling class. Well, she fell in love with it. Fast forward a couple years, and she quit her job to move to California and cycle full time. She was just added to Team USA one month before the games began. And now, just seven years after starting the sport, Kristen won gold in Paris becoming the first American woman to win the gold in the women's road race in 40 years. And that is what the Olympics are all about.